Hello, I am Lass. Development of algorithm design led to paradigms like divide and conquer, which is used in algorithms like merge sort. Whoa, that was quick. A little too quick. Enter two PhD students, Andre Broder and Jorge Solfi. Get me a- Ah, oh, these gosh darn algorithms. They're too fast and optimized. Optimized, you say? Two worked tirelessly, but they were about to change the world. And there it was, the fruits of their labour, the most important paradigm in reluctant algorithm design, multiply and surrender. Multiply and surrender follow simple steps. You identify your problem, then multiply it into more slightly simpler problems. You keep multiplying these problems until they can't get any simpler, at which point you surrender. The proposed example of this paradigm is the slow sort, which sorts numbers into ascending order very slowly. Just how slowly? Well, let's see. Here, we have a list with 500 numbers. Most sorts will do this in a negligible amount of time, less than 10 milliseconds. Let's see how long the slow sort takes. Wow, that's about 88 minutes. Sure is slow. Let's explore this sort in detail. This sort cleverly uses the fact that an assorted list, the highest number is at the end of the list, Put the largest number at the end and repeat this for every previous number and you have a sorted list. So, let's find the highest value in this list. Well, I don't know where the largest number is. So, let's replace this one problem with two problems. Now we have to sort these two different lists. Let's look at this first subproblem. The problem is still not as simple as it can be, so we split it, multiply it, again, and again. Now, the problems are as simple as possible. We can't multiply them further, so we surrender. These problems are so simple now that they are already solved. They are sorted lists. The largest number is at the end of each list. In this case, also the start, but shush. We can merge these lists to reconstruct the previous problems, knowing that the largest numbers are now at the end of each half of the list. So we just need simple comparisons between the two values to find the biggest value, swapping them if the larger value is to the left. Since these lists are so small, they are in another special case where this swap already sorts them, so we can move on. Merge and compare the largest values. The largest value is now the last value in this original sublist. But the aim is to sort every sublist, and although this list does happen to be sorted, we don't know for sure if it is sorted. So we repeat the entire process without the last number, as we know that number is in the right place in the sublist. Now, we have to repeat the entire process on the other sublist from the start. Remove the last number and sort the rest of the sublist. And finally, we can find the largest number in the original list and place it at the end like so. And now, we repeat the entire process without the last number. I think the inefficiency of this algorithm is quite clear. Now, let's go check up on that one bar. Uh, could I get a drink? Uh... Um, actually, I'm good. So, um... That was Multiply and Surrender, um, yeah. Uh, if you want to find out more about Andrew Broder's and Jorge Stolfi's work in Reluctant Algorithms, their paper is in the description. It's awesome stuff I've barely even began to cover. Uh, bye.